Hi, I'm Alex Thedem, and welcome to the Java SE8 Programmer for Associates course by Pact Publishing. For over a decade now, I have been developing Java applications in a variety of sectors. I have developed ATM software for the finance industry, lottery systems in the gambling sector, and learning platforms in the e-learning sector. I am a published author, and I have published several books. Most recently, I have published the book Java EE8, Only What's New, and I regularly present at conferences and train developers in the art of Java SE and Java EE programming. And of course, I am a certified Java professional in both Standard Edition and Enterprise Edition. You can follow me on my Twitter account at Alex Thedem and visit my blog readlearncode.com, where you'll find plenty of additional material on Java SE. This course is designed for the beginner who wants to learn Java, and for any Java developer who wants to become an Oracle Certified Associate Java Programmer. This course is also ideal for those coming from another language and for those who want to get up to speed quickly with Java. In this course, you'll be taken on a journey through the fundamental concepts of the Java programming language and given the knowledge necessary to write your own Java applications. In section one, you'll learn about the headline features of the Java programming language, how to structure a class, understand variable scope and why scope is important. You will learn to import external packages and then write your first Java program. In section two, you will learn about variable declaration and initialization and understand the object reference and what primitive values are. You will learn to read and write object fields and use wrapper classes for primitive values. And you will finish the section able to describe the object's lifecycle. In section three, you will learn all about constructing and using arrays to store data. You'll learn about one dimensional arrays and multi dimensional arrays. In section four, you will discover how to use Java operators and understand operator precedents. You will learn how to test equality using the equals method and the equivalence operator. You will also learn how to make decisions with code and control execution flow with the if else, ternary, and switch case structures. In section five, you'll learn various ways to construct loops to repeat code using while loops, do while loops, and the four and enhanced for loop structures. In section six, you will understand how to handle exceptions by learning the difference between errors, checked and unchecked exceptions. You'll learn about try catch structures and how they affect execution flow, and you will develop code that throws an exception. In section seven, you will learn the important topic of methods and encapsulation by working with arguments, return values, and method signatures. You'll see how constructors can be overloaded and how to use access modifiers correctly and you'll understand the behavior of object references and primitive values. In section eight, the final section, you will finish by understanding inheritance and its benefits, how to write polymorphic code, to use casting correctly, and how to access objects and constructors using super and this. You'll learn about abstract classes and interfaces, and finally, you'll learn about lambda expressions and predicates. You don't need to have any previous programming experience to be successful with this course. You will be guided through the examples and given all you need to become a Java programmer. You will need to download the Java SE development kit, which you can do so from the Oracle website. Ensure that you download the appropriate version for your operating system. You should visit the exam webpage to ensure you know all about the exam prerequisites and details. All code used in this course can be downloaded from the dedicated GitHub code repository that accompanies this course. Here you will find all the code examples organized by sections. The videos are backed up by large text files and exercises that you should read in connection with each video. They give detailed explanations and examples that are essential for fully understanding the topic of each section. You must work through the text files to be sure that you cover all that is necessary for the exam. You will need a plain text editor. Most likely, you will already have one. The one that came with your operating system should work just fine. Finally, you will need an integrated development environment. These are all available to download for free and there are three to choose from. JetBrains IDE IntelliJ has a free community edition, which is perfect for this course and is the IDE I will be using. Alternatively, you might like to try Eclipse's IDE. Ensure, however, that you download the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. And finally, but not least, the NetBeans IDE supports Java and many other languages beside. The choice is yours as to which IDE you decide to use. By the end of this course, you will have essential knowledge of the fundamental Java programming language concepts. Be able to code and deploy your own Java applications. To manage an application's flow and handle exceptions. 
You will know how to manipulate data, use data structures and create classes, understand how to design applications using object-oriented concepts, and ultimately be prepared to take the Java SE8 programmer exam. I hope you're ready, so let's begin.